The Holy Torah, Genesis chapter 13. And Abram went up out of Egypt, he and his wife, and all that he hath, and Lot with him into the south. And Abram was very rich with cattle and silver and with gold. And he went on his journeys from the south even to Bethel, unto the place where his tent hath been at the beginning, between Bethel and Hai, unto the place of the altar which he hath made there at first. And there Abram called on the name of Aldrab. And Lut also whom went with Abram hath flocks and herds and tents, and the land was not able to bear them, that they might dwell together, for their substance was so great, so that they could not dwell together. And there was a strife between the herdmen of Abram's cattle and the herdmen of Lut's cattle, and the Canaanite and the Pirizite dwelled then upon the land. And Abram recited unto Lut, Let there become no strife, I pray to him thee, between me and thee, and between my herdmen and thy herdmen, for we become brethren. Is not the whole land before thee? Separate thyself, I pray to him thee, from me if thou wilt take the left hand, then I willeth goeth to the right, or if thou depart to the right hand, then I willeth goeth to the left. And Lot lifted up his eyes, and beheld all the plain of Jordan, that the same was well watered everywhere, before Al-Rab destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, even as the garden of Al-Rab, like the land of Egypt, as thou arrivest unto Zoar. Then Lot chose him all the plain of Jordan, and Lot journeyed east, and they separated themselves the one from the other. Abram dwelled upon the land of Canaan, and Lot dwelled upon the cities of the plain, and pitched his tent towards Sodom. But the men of Sodom were wicked, and sinners before Al-Rab exceedingly. And Al-Rab set forth unto Abram, after that Lot was separated from him, Lift up now thine eyes, and look from the place where thou art northward, and southward, and eastward, and westward, for all the land which thou seest, to thee willeth I bestow the same unto thy seed for ever. And I willeth make thy seed as dust of the earth, so that if a man can number the dust of the earth, then shall thy seed also become numbered. Arise, walk through the land upon the length of the same, and amongst the breadth of the same, for I willeth bestow the same unto thee. Then Abram removed his tent, and arrived and dwelt upon the plain of Mamre, which is upon Hebron, and built there an altar unto Al-Rab.